What are complementary clefs? Welcome to this new video. I'm Ricardo, the Musicus Practicus, and today I want to answer to one of you, to Nadia, because Nadia is a, a lady Musicus Practicus from Ireland. Do I remember correctly? And he's learning, she's learning sonization with uh, Familia Mifai Sota Musica, and we have an interesting question today. The question is, Hello Rick, it is a marvelous course. Thank you again. You're welcome. There is just something which is not quite clear to me at the moment about complementary clefs. In stage 12, in the summary, there is a list of seven clefs. Two tenors clef, two soprano, two baritone, and one violin clef, and each one of these has a complementary clef. If, for example, the tenor has the tenor clef has a flat, the complementary clef will not, and if the tenor clef is without a flat, the complementary will have one. Right. I understand this, but what about all the other clefs in the Musica Ficta summary? Are these also called complementary clefs, or are they only called complementary clefs when they remain in the chant of G, C, and F, or F, best wishes, Nadia? So, we are talking about Musica Ficta and how clefs work in summization. So, summization is an interesting thing because you can read um, in any key in the same way. You can read in C major, like in A minor, of, uh, in C major, like in D major, like in B major, like in any key. So for the ancient system, we have only the nature of the chant, which is natural, so hard without anything in the keys, in the key when we use the natural hexachord and hard hexachord, or when the nature of the chant is B flat, we can we'll use the natural hexachord with a soft hexachord, hexachordum mollis, and in these two systems, there is a relationship. Now, I show you what I'm talking about here. In less, this is the course in lesson number 12. We have this table with all the complementary class, so we can read the first one, for example, the bass clef without any flat. This way, gamma. Re, mi, fa, re, mi, fa, sol, re, if you want to continue, re, or la, la, sol, fa, la, sol, fa, mi, re, ut, or if you want to continue again, hypothetically, virtually, la, sol, fa, that's why you can see re or la. Now, you, we can have the same succession of tone and semitone, so you can remember that in this kind of summarization, re and mi, mi, fa, means semitone. So anytime you'll find the semitone in the ordinary system, you'll call it mi fa. So we can have the same succession with the soprano clef, talking in modern, uh, speaking in modern terms, with one flat. Ut re mi fa, re mi fa, and it's the flat which helps you to switch the semitone system. Okay. And so that you have the semitone in this point instead of this point. Mi fa sol la la sol fa la sol fa mi re ut. So you have the same succession of semitone and sem of tones and semitones from G. Ut re mi fa re mi fa sol la la sol fa la sol fa mi re ut. And here, ut re mi fa re mi fa sol la la sol fa la sol fa mi re ut. And yes, okay, you'll say that's obvious. It's like if you are transposing F is down. Starting and instead of starting from G, starting from C. Yeah, that's obvious from our point of view. But the most interesting thing is that we are using two different clefs, but on the same system, on the same stuff. We are not changing the position of the notes. This is a very interesting thing and when they are useful. Then we have to understand the context where complementary clefs are useful. For example, in reading in transposing music, when music is, is, wrote in, is written in chiavette alla alta, in a high clef for instruments, it can be useful for voices to transpose down. So the organist or other uh, musicians who have to, ha who need a referment on the keyboard, needs to use complementary clef. And this table is all about remaining in the system, and then you can learn more in depth about this in lesson number 12, stage number 12 with exercises. 
Yeah, because here you have the lesson and the exercises, video summary, okay, and exercises. Now, Nadia is asking, Nadia is asking, but what about this table? Lesson 13, we have this table. The principle is exactly the same. Yeah, here we have other ends out of the, so not ordinary hands, ends where ut corresponds to a instead of gamma. And how about this table? I know, <laughs> I know that now it's reversed in your screen, in mine too. So the point here is that we can read, for example, let's read this, okay? The first one. We have ut, re, mi, fa, sol, re, mi, fa, sol, la, la, sol, fa, mi, la, sol, fa, mi, re, ut. Okay, now, reading on the same stuff, let's start, let's use the treble clef with, or violin clef, with three flats and starting from E. But re let's read from the same stuff, so let's take this key with the three flats, treble clef with three flats, and let's put it instead of our key. Imagine that that key here. And so we have ut re mi fa sol re mi fa sol la sol fa mi la sol fa mi re ut. The same. We are just transposing using uh, reading from the same stuff. And so. The answer is yes, these are complementary clefs, just in Musica Ficta, using uh, a wider system, which is closer to the modern, closer to the modern, to our system. Let's now try with the tenor clef, but uh, with two sharps, F and C. And so, for example, so tenor clef is D. Ut, re, mi, fa, sol, re, mi, fa, sol, la, sol, fa, mi, la, sol, fa, mi, re, ut. It works. It works. So this is a very interesting way the ancient musician had to transpose music. Yeah, I will say a very elementary way, but you have to understand then how to put the syllables. This is the, this is the challenge of solmization, which is quite similar to our modern system, but useful for organists like Deruta, shows in, um, in Tra Il Transilvano, his treatise about four organists. And for this reason, in this stage, in stage number 13, the exercises you can find for practicing this customization and in, uh, in, um, with Musica Ficta is nothing more than those duos by Diruta, with then, of course, the solution with the uh, <laughs> right solmization syllables so that you can create association between what you see, what you think, what you sing, and what you play is only, it's always a thing of associations and refreshment. So, the answer is yes, they are complementary clef, clefs, but in Musica Ficta, in a, I would say, a wider system, okay, not in the ordinary system, in a wider system, in a not natural system. Good, Nadia? You arrived up to the end of this course, you're ready now for the test in a few weeks. Of course, keep me updated when you will finish it, when you will have finished. And uh, for all other people, if you want to learn solmization and to learn all these things, just enroll in Familia Trinfai Sota Musica. Why to learn solmization, for example? Uh, also for modern musicians, there's one thing which is very nice. If you are playing jazz, if you play jazz music and you want to remember, for example, the Dorian scale, okay, the Dorian scale on the keyboard with solmization is Re mi fa sol, re mi fa sol, re mi fa sol, re mi fa sol. Now, I don't know anything about jazz, but if I want now to play a, a key, so sorry, a scale, I mean, from a Dorian scale from A flat, and I think Re mi fa sol, re mi fa sol, I just move one step when I see the semitone, when I say the semitone. Re, mi, fa, mi, fa, sol, re, mi, fa, sol, mi, fa, sol, re, mi, fa, sol, and I'm playing the Dorian scale in jazz. Let's start from here. Re, mi, fa, sol, re, mi, fa, sol. I don't know anything about jazz, but thanks to solmization, when I say mi, fa, I play the semitone. Re, mi, fa, 
sa sol re mi fa sol let's do another example re mi fa sol re mi fa sol yeah i played something wrong re mi fa sol re mi fa sol let's start from now e flat re mi fa sol re mi fa sol nice And that's valid for all the other modes. So solmization is also useful. It's also useful for jazz musician because it's an heuristic, something very easy to find the right succession of tones and semitones without thinking tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone, which don't, don't make sense, okay? Because it's different to remember. It's difficult to remember different combinations. But with the six syllables, you create ver a very good and then very interesting association in your, your mind in creating the succession, re mi fa sol, re mi fa, re mi fa sol, re mi fa, re mi fa sol, re mi fa, ascending and la sol fa mi, la sol fa, la sol fa mi, la sol fa, la sol fa mi, la sol fa, descending. And when you learn this like, um, uh, how do you say, filastroca, filastroca, <laughs> I don't know, in English, like um, uh, a, a, a little poem, but for, um, for uh, children, a little poetic component, but for children, you already have it in your mind, just apply it in the context. So, learn solmization, check the link in the description. Solmization is on the Musicus Practicus Academy to transform all the world into a realm, realm of musici practici and see you here in another video or in the solmization course. Ut fa sol re mi fa Can you sing with your hand? Consider that this method has been used to teach music from the Middle Ages until the early 19th century. All the great musicians whose music captivates and moves us learned the basics of music starting right here. With a simple hand that I have drawn on a globe, which encapsulate all the elements of music. The great scale, hexachords, clefs, notes and melodies. Everything in the palm of one hand. It is true that it is not so easy to learn this system at the beginning. It is all based on a series of musical relationships and ratios which are different from modern music theory. The historical sources are written in ancient Italian, making them accessible to only a few. Furthermore, the way the ancients write is not always so clear. However, if you have as passionately curious as I am, and you would love to learn how to sing like a true Renaissance or Baroque musicus practicus, take a look to Fami et me fa estota musica method. In English, so it will be very easy for you to understand everything from A to Z. 13 stages that are well organized and ordered. Start from stage 1 and gradually progress to stage 13, following the step-by-step -step order proposed in this journey. Examples, images and practical exercises that visually teach you what to do, how to do it and why to do it. Oh, and in the end, we will do a test together. Learn more here.